actually. Okay. Okay. Your memory sticks up there, so. Cool. Um, so I'm here representing the, the Red Hat people. The engineers that worked on this um, aren't at the conference, so they asked me to do it. And these are slides straight from one of the implementers, and I spent the morning talking to him to make sure that uh, I had my facts straight, but this is not my, my strongest suit. I didn't do this work. Um, the big point from here is we started on OpenMP 4.0 pretty early. It took a while to get it done. Um, and it's now currently available in 4.9.1. Um, so if you go and get the latest GCC 4.9.1, it's there. Now, we've got um, the device driver offloading. It's currently um, in the process of being developed. Um, the, probably the very first thing that's going to get merged is the Xeon Phi, uh, the Knight's Landing, the Xeon Phi. And um, we've, we've got a port for the um, NVIDIA PTX, but that one isn't quite as far along. We've got to basically um, port the OpenMP runtime to the PTX, and then it's, it's, it should be there. And some of that work is happening concur concurrently with the OpenACC stuff. Um, oops. Hmm. Is there, hold on. Um, so all the SIMD uh, directives are implemented. And this actually, um, this slide actually gives you some implementation details, which, um, but um, some of the interesting things are um, whenever you do a SIMD collective, uh, a SIMD, not a collective, a SIMD operation, um, the compiler actually implements um, versions for the normal SSE2 plus AVX um, and AVX2. And you have three different versions of the function, and the appropriate one will get called using something similar to the, the Silk naming convention. We couldn't use the exact silk plus um, uh, mechanism because they they didn't follow the standard calling convention in the ABIs to, to do that and um, some registers, they were using registers to pass parameters that we couldn't use. Um, so again, this is some other idea, uh, other things about how we implemented um, the different, um, the, the depend clauses and also the task group things, which were some of the bigger challenges in implementing um, these. Um, I, I think we're rushing on time, so I'm not going to explain a lot of how we do it. Um, cancellation, it was a big challenge to get this um, right um, and conforming to the standard. Um, and um, so you can see a little bit about how we did it. Um, basically, we essentially have particular cancellation points that are implemented in the, the OpenMP runtime. And then when one of the threads hits one of these things, it's, um, it, it will exit out. Um, User-defined reductions, um, you know, a great new feature. Um, um, again, a little bit more challenging to implement. Um, and one of the interesting things is um, in, uh, the engineering of it was a bit challenging because we ended up having uh, using the uh, calling back to the front end to pick up, um, to implement the um, user-defined uh, reductions. And so whenever you have those little C++ or C, C++, or Fortran blocks describing it, we basically go from the middle end back to the front end to implement them. And this is kind of an interesting little detail. Um, now, the offloading is one of the, the most interesting features in here. Now, um, we've got a host version of the offloading right now. If you specify a target, it will, um, it will currently generate um, host code and run that way. With the Knight's Landing, we've got a mechanism for putting their, their um, um, putting the data into, uh, putting it in a data block in the ELF binary and using that. That for, we didn't want to do the same thing with the PTX. Um, so um, we've got a design for it. It's not completed. It hasn't been merged yet, but we definitely expect it 
to be coming along. It might, with a little bit of luck, we might even make that with GCC 5.0. Um, we shall see, you know, on that one. Um, and here you can also see some of the details about how we map pointers um, and uh, map data between the targets and the, the, um, uh, the host, uh, the host's regular uh, memory. Um, I think I'll just skip over that slide because that, uh, it's there. This describes a bit about what I was talking about a minute ago about how we actually um, deal with target code in ELF binaries because this is really the very first time that we've ever um, had hybrid code and ELF wasn't really designed to deal with these kinds of uh, things and even though PTX is um, a definition for a, vir a virtual machine. It's a kind of machine language. It's a bytecode very similar to Java. So having uh, hybrid code, this is something that is an evolving thing. We've got, we think we've got a good design and we know where to call the, um, the, the actual compile the bytecode into the thing and we know it works. We just, it's one of these evolving topics. We've got, um, um, you can see how um, we store it in the, the ELF binary on, on these. Um, let's see here. So, so you can see what we're, we're working on is um, the um, OpenACC people are, are developing some of the PTX support and that'll plug in directly into the same sort of functions that are needed for OpenACC are actually being implemented, are going to be leveraged by OpenMP. Um, we're, um, uh, the AMD HSA support is also being worked on. It'll likely be merged in uh, rel, um, GCC 6 and um, some of the vector, uh, we're improving the vector operations um, because that's a, now we're making better use of those. And that's basically all I have. Okay.